audio on, have I? What an idiot. Hi. Sorry, the technical issues because I am an idiot on the internet. I didn't have my microphone turned on. Um, what we are going to be doing this evening is having a little look on Zoopla to find some inspiration um, for a build. I really want to make a uh terraced house or like a row of terrace houses i think i'm probably going to do three or four i haven't fully decided yet we will cross that bridge when we come to it but i am gonna hop onto the sims we are gonna have a little look at you know is this even is this because first it doesn't look like that's picking that up Usually that wiggles, that wiggles when I'm hitting stuff. I'm so bad at this. I need an adult, I need someone to tell me that it's working. I tried to be all clever and failed. Because normally when I speak in... It's, has it changed what the input is? Well, it selected the right one. Um, is this working? Oh, it's working now. It seems to be. Hello, we've had technical issues. I don't know how well this is working because it doesn't seem to be coming up on my mixer. So if anybody is hanging out in chat right now and can let me know whether they can hear this or whether they can't hear this, I would be thrilled if you'd let me know. Um, Richard, if you're still in the chat, I am able to read your messages. I will be um, going on to the game shortly. I'm just worried that my audio is not working. I wonder if I go onto my channel on another device, whether that's going to, whether that's gonna, tell me whether my audio is working or not. I think it's hard to say while well, I've got that screen up at the moment. But the audio input is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, no, the audio is working. Fine. It's just my system that is proving to be an idiot. Not me. For once. For once. Okay, shall we have a little look at this game then? Right. Hello, I'm down here in the corner. <laughs> Let's have a little bash at this then. So, I'm just going to get my reference image up because I love a reference image. We're looking at a two bedroom property that is currently available for rent in Norwich. Lovely. Okay, let's have a look at this floor plan. Please tell me there's a floor plan on here. There is, wonderful. Okay. So I'm not going to be decorating it exactly how it is listed on Zoopla. I'm essentially using the floor plan. So we have ground floor with a lounge, a dining room. There's a kitchen at the back. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's got an upstairs bathroom. That's rare for one of these types of houses. So we're going to start off with a rectangular shape. The lounge is quite sizable. We have our stairway here, so I'm going to block this off 
for the stairs. <clears throat> then we have the dining room. And again, that is a square shape. Oh, this is a lot bigger than I'd anticipated. Let's, let's just hold our horses for a sec. Because I do also want to fit in a garden here as well. So let's just not make it absolutely ginormous. These sorts of houses tend to be on the smaller side. Why have my headphones turned off? That is a bit fucking rude. Okie doke. Just make it a little smaller. Oh, and the stairs do not need to be that wide. That's a bit better. And there's a little kitchen that goes onto the back. Ah, I've started too far in. Is that going to be enough of a garden? Yeah, I reckon so. Okay, we have like a little gated bit at the front as well. Perhaps needs to come in a little bit more. I guess we'll find out when the stairs come into play. not big enough to be a kitchen. <laughs> Maybe we'll extend it out by like a square. So because with like terrace houses, they all have a very similar layout, what I'm thinking is we will just copy and pa paste the floor plan. I think that's probably going to be the best bet. So we have like this little gated bit here. That's fine. I can deal with the front yard shortly. Yeah, these, these houses are fucking long. They are long houses. Right, let's have a look at that floor plan again. Okay, so that juts out a little bit into the neighbours one. Okay. interesting okay what I'm gonna do just so I can visualize this a little better let's go in and just put a fence in so I know that this is a back garden
Nice. Nice, nice. We're good. So we have a dressing room that essentially covers the entire bit here. Okay. So the bedroom comes back a little bit, it's a bit further back. So here, so it's not quite quite as spacious as the living room we also then have a landing how many squares have we got for that so we've got an extra square there this should be our landing area and then we have a bathroom it, i might have to make this wider depends on how steep the stairs have got to be we've then got another bedroom Oh, this needs to wing out a little bit onto the other one. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're in a good position. Okay. Floor plan is done. Let's have a little look at them stairs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make this a little bit wider, you know? Cause we ain't gonna get a bathroom in there, are we? Ain't gonna get a bathroom in there, I don't think. How far, oh! Mm. Well, it's doable, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to move everything along by a square or two in that case. Let's try that again. Maybe one more. That's a bit better, I think. Yeah, and there's still plenty of room. We've got our little garden space at the back. Um, we just need to pull this out slightly. Got a little bit more room. Okay. Delicious. 
Right, that one's supposed to wang out a little bit like that, because that is the little alleyway. Oh yeah! That's really cool. Okay. So a lot of these houses have like an alleyway that run underneath. So you can like access bikes and gardens and that kind of thing. Okay. So I'm just having a look at the front of the house and we have a door, a nice little black door. for this one actually because it's a two panel ah. okay. and the window is quite big on it the window is quite big window it's not very tall that is the only thing that is a contender for a window <gasps> this one I need this, but like upside down. Maybe. Oh no, 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 that one's better. Let's go with that one. You know how I expanded everything by two? I kind of want to go back and redo it because I feel like it looks too wide for the style of house it is. Am I going to regret this? Is my bathroom going to regret this? Oh, I think it might be okay, you know. It's not deleting my stairs, so that's a positive. I should have just trusted my gut. Oh, but now I've got to take... Tell you what, I'm going to incorporate the bathroom into this, like, little passageway thing. That's how I'm going to get around the problem of the bathroom. I know, it, well, 
I've not even shown you guys the. Oh no, that's how it is. That's how it is on the floor plan. I'm a genius, only not. And then we can have a gate here. Hmm. Nice. Where are these doors going? Dressing room's like bigger than. Might bring that back ever so slightly, just a couple of squares. Maybe just the one. So I don't want my. Yeah, I don't want the kitchen to be. Actually, no, maybe I will leave it. I don't want my kitchen to be too small. Okay. Right. I want an archway. Uh, you will do. That's the dressing room. And then we've got windows. Let's put the doors in downstairs just so we know where we're at. Okay. There's that little door that we had. some kind of cupboard so I'm gonna see if it's gonna let me fill that in yes excellent we could put a little door on there as well love to see it oh it's a two panel door though is that gonna be an issue oh it's two panel as in one two not two squares I'm stupid <laughs> Then we have our kitchen door and then we have the back door and I'm going to put one with a window on there. Lovely old job. Right, windows. Windows! Now I think that might be a chimney. Or is that a window? Because those are windows at the front. I don't think 
Well, there are. I don't think there are windows. Let's just look at the image again. Okay, so on the second floor. What pack's that from? I like the ones with the pillars on. Are they pillars? Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with these ones. That goes there like that. And then we have like a single pane one. Does that exist? Yes. Oh, no, that's not the same window. I just want a matching window. from base game just want a single pane window that looks the same I want this little bit at the top. Yeah. Just show me base game. Just show me base game. Right. Let me find this friggin' window. Right, there's the th triple one. There's the double one. Is there a single pane window? It must be that one, but I don't like it. It doesn't match. I guess my alternative is to just stick in another double pane one. I might just have to do that. There we go. Ugh, the stress that came with that. Oh, let's just bring this in ever so slightly. I'm gonna bring that in one because that looks a little bit of a wide passage there. Let's check out downstairs. So the next windows, they only need to be at the back of the house and there definitely is a chimney breast in there. Okay. That window is here. Let a bit of light in. Um, and then there's a kitchen window here. It'd be nice if they had something like that, but like longer should we go for the three panel one 
I just have a feeling that's gonna look really jank when I start putting counters in front of it. <sighs> Maybe. I might even shorten it. I think it's too long. I think that does need to come back one. That would look better. Is that all lined up? Yeah. Okay, next bit. We have the dressing room. A window there. There's also a window there for the bedroom. And then we've got the windows at the front. Okay. Now it's time for the bit that I hate doing. Do you want to know what bit that is? It's fucking roofs, man. I hate roofs. I can't get my head around them. I suck at doing roofs. So we're just going to do one. This needs to come down. This needs to come out. Does... Is there a way for me to bring those windows up another... So we have like a gabled arch over this window here. pictures I want to see the back of the property nice bathroom we've got a shed okay I'm gonna have to wing it usually they're pretty plain at the back so I'm just gonna use my experience as a person living in the UK to inform my build. doesn't answer the question of how is the roof at the back like this house that I'm looking at 
is near my house. I could go out and have a look. Um, but I am feeling kind of lazy. Oh! Oh! That's how they do it. Okay. That's a flat roof. Right. The back of the pictures that I'm looking at, there is... I can see the other houses, so I can see how they're laid out. So I'm going to copy those. That's the little foot and terrace house, that is. And then we can put a little shed at the bottom of the garden. I'm quite pleased with that. That didn't take me very long to knock out at all. Look at this. Who'd have thought? It's not finished, obviously, but I thought I was going to be on that a lot longer than I was, so props to me. Um, right, let's change some of these swatches over. match the spandrels that oh that's not right do I have to draw a wall and then do that is that how spandrels work yeah now it's backwards I rotate it. Whoa. Right, let's try that again. Yes, but it's the wrong way. So why is it doing that? You're the wrong way. Why 
What is going on? I literally just want to put this in here. Wait, wait. Oh, I know. I think I've figured it out. I think I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Let me bring this wall out a bit further. Then maybe stand spandrel? No! Why are you going the wrong way? Oh, this is very upsetting. Turn around! Bright eyes. Turn around, please. Hi! I'm currently losing my mind over spandrels. Yeah, I could see ch chat before. Um, I think there is just a bit of a delay. I don't know whether that's like how it is all the time or whether this is just a me problem. Can I change the angle of that? Yeah. What if now I try and spandrel? Oh my god, you're gonna ruin my life. <laughs> anyway, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. What are my thoughts on motorcycles? I think they're really cool. Um, my dad um, used to, well, he still does ride motorcycles, but he, I don't live at home with him, so I don't have like chats about <laughs> bikes and stuff regularly. Um, but yeah, I actually own a Honda Melody, which isn't a bike, oh, isn't a motorcycle, um, but it is a little um, twist and go moped from the 80s, which is pretty rad. It's quite cool that I've got that. Um, it isn't functional at the moment, which is a real shame, but um, yeah. Yeah, 1983, so she's like nine years older than I am. And she is a she because her name's Melody. got better bricks than this i want something that looks a little bit older i want to keep it with the red brick though that's too red right what am i doing next i need to i think i need to move those windows down just a touch because they're sitting mm. yeah i mean if you've got seven of them that generally suggests that uh you're into something in a pretty big way it's the same as me having like five tarantulas <laughs> Uh, 
can I raise that? If I select everything, can I like, I want to bring it up somewhat. Hmm. That just moves it along. Huh. Oh, do you know what would be really good? You know, like how you can um, copy rooms. If you could just like copy like a whole thing, that'd be well good. This is where somebody chips in and is like, who can do that? I mean, it's not going to be hard to do it. Oh, that's gone too far forward. Oh, the Sims music has started again. Thank you. For a minute, if I... I did wonder whether I was just unable to, like, hear what was going on. Um, whether my headphones had died or whatever. But I could hear, like, some of the clicking and stuff. That's not right. I mean, I like music from loads of different generations. Um, I do not have like one particular favorite, but I have obviously stuff that I like. <laughs> I'm gonna have to choose a different gate. That's fine though. plan is to like decorate these all individually which I think will be quite fun too this friggin tree keeps getting in my way though can we not do that um 
Um, I don't know. Oh no, am I... I'm on the wrong level. Am I single? Yes, I am single. Um, but I'm also very gay. I think I might go for a four lot build, you know? I think I've got space for it.
Yeah, I think. We'll go for the same layout, but... Why is that one? Oh no, because that's how it is, Charlotte. <laughs> Okay, four terraced houses, and I'm gonna make them all real different. I'm gonna change like the colors of the brick, and I think I'm gonna move it along ever so slightly as well. So it's nice and central. Is that central? I'm not sure. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, it needs to come over this way a little bit. Oh no. I've just lost, hang on, that's what come forward. <gasps> no, do not bulldoze the lot, please. Jesus. Um, shit, I've got roofs to do as well. sheds in all of them See if we can find a gate.
Sorry I got distracted. I was responding to a message. Right. We'll get these blocks laid down and then it will be time to copy those roofs over. Oh, it's because it's gone over too far, that's why. You're back a block. Or back in. Hang on. stuck in my head so often it's one of the things that I say to my friends at work that get it do you know what I mean okay let's go <laughs> teehee funny okay okay let's go <laughs> Like Charlotte, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Um, let's just have another little look at that two bed property on Zoopla. Um, I can do the fence, that could be good. I was gonna say, where the fuck are all my fences that I'd scrolled down? This is a really little one, isn't it? Yeah, I want something a bit taller than that. Uh, I did see something a second ago. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? This one.
Now, is there going to be a way that I can put a little, little bit of a brick post? Give me a brick wall! You got this in red? No. You got any bricks? No bricks. Ah, bricks. Lovely old job. I might have to change. Actually, let's get rid of that bit there. Um, and then a little gate. It's not going to be exactly to the blueprint, but it's going to be close enough. Maybe I'll pop some of that in here. Then we've got some paving slab type things. Um, And then we've got gravel. Uh, that's going to be under terrain, isn't it? Wait, why am I not doing this on square? Because then I can get like a relatively straight line on my edge. We're vibing, we're vibing. I think that needs moving along slightly. Give me my tool, my hand tool back. Give me my hand. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. A 
going to throw in one with one of these because I am going to change the brickwork I think Look at that. How nice. Right. Jump we need now. Drain pipes! Where are ya? Why are they so big? Why are they 
so big. Is that what? No, that's too low down now. I thought I'd fixed my spandrel problem. Apparently not. How very annoying. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's the obvious answer. The obvious answer. Use your fucking cheat, Charlotte. Oh wait, it was on already. It was on. Something that might work. Well, I placed that and it's disappeared. I'm just going to go and cry about it. Ugh. Yeah, one of the things that I really like about this, um, the Ferent pack, um, is being able to make houses that look like houses where I live. Um, I've only just started using the tool mod. I It's very confusing for me also. So yeah, it's something that is pretty... I haven't really got to grips with yet. I thought I might be able to fix it, but I was obviously too... Um... It was wishful thinking. Yeah... So I started doing a legacy challenge um, about a week ago. Like I had a week off work. I'm still on my week off work. It was 10 days, not a week. But like, yeah, it's like having for rent and growing together has like totally revolutionized doing legacy challenges, I think. <clears throat> When I get bored of building, maybe we'll go and have a little look at my um, my legacy. Oh my god, I was looking for something like this the other day and I couldn't find it. Maybe I can put that in one of the kitchens. Why the hell is it under stone and not tile? It just looks like it's full of beans. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did with my legacy as well. Like the whole rags to riches um, type of thing. And remodeling the house is really fun. Really, really fun. I 
I feel like this one needs to have like plants in the garden. You know, like in the UK, you'd randomly just get like the one house with like, maybe not this big, but like <laughs> with like a miniature palm tree just in the front garden. I'm like, you're in the UK, who are you kidding? Oh, pretty. Too big for his here though. Yes. Oh no, I see I love pampas grass. Pampas grass is the shit. I know know that there's pampas grass in here somewhere. I seen it. Oh, let me type it. Let me search pampas. Is that how you spell pampas? I, I think so. Well, there's pampas grass in a vase. There you go. There's your, pamp there's your traditional British pampas grass in your garden. Just hide it behind the, behind the shed or the shed, the hedge. Um. I think you might be right though. Let's have a look in the shrubs. I don't have all of the packs, so I might not have it, but we'll see. Pampas? Pampas grass? For me? Is for me? There she is. Yeah, that's just like, wait, no, it's got to be on the pebbles. That's what it looks like in the UK. That is a typical British house. <laughs> it's called not grass grass. That's helpful when you're looking for pampas. Yeah, it does work. And I think what I might do is maybe put like a plant pot or something. Like in this little space here. Oh my god, can my headphones chill the fuck out for a second? Jesus. I'm just gonna have to take those off because the music is like skipping over itself. All one of those. You have these in British gardens as well. <laughs> That's so funny. It is a thing though, isn't it? Like, we sure love putting plants that don't belong here in our gardens. <laughs> Very true. It's alright, I've got space down here, they can put it on the side of this house. We can put the broken car in here. I feel like with these houses, like this one here, the end houses are like the competitor houses. This one's going to be the shitty junkyard house. Um, I need like dead plants. We'll just put a lump of, lump of, lumps of grass in there. Just make it a trash heap. The people that don't look after their property.
swamp algae. That's not for. That's not for here. I have the same problem. So I'm being assessed for ADHD. Um, literally, like next month, I've got my assessment. Finally. Um, just some sand. Why is there sand? Um, and yeah, I I totally relate to like starting a new legacy play and then just abandoning it. But like, I found something that has really helped me stay invested in my legacies are like documenting bits and pieces and like trying not to speed through just like taking my time and enjoying it okay my headphones have calmed down now Damn! So titration is like trying to sort out the medication, right? I think that's what that means. So the people that I'm having mine done with are called a problem shared. And I'm like, okay, we're acknowledging that there is an issue then, huh? If nothing else, there sure is biodiversity happening in this front garden. We'll have to get a bug farm. Yeah, so I have a couple of friends who are currently really struggling to get their medication at the moment and it's oh it's awful like one of them in particular is one is a girl that i work with and she has really been struggling um my other friend is someone who is sort of self-employed um so their work situation is a little bit easier than um, my my work friend mainly because of the environment that they work in um, like obviously I'm unmedicated currently I have my ways of treating my symptoms myself my headphones my music is being shit again I've got to take those off uh, so my doctor says three types of ADHD. I've got the one that's a mixture of hyperactive and inattentive. I think I'm definitely, I definitely have the inattentive subtype. I don't know whether I would necessarily consider myself to be hyperactive, but my hyperactivity tends to go on up here a bit more than like externally. Like I get very hyped about things that I'm excited about. But in terms of um, like bouncing off of the walls and that kind of thing, I don't think I... Oh, Jesus Christ, that's huge. <coughs> I don't... Um... Have like... I don't know. It's not like I get the zoomies all the time.
I'm really hoping that the med situation is sorted soon because I would also like some. <laughs> That's a nice boulder. Oh, there's some cool Star Wars rocks I could chuck in here. Look at that! That's crazy! I'm crazy girl. Shit, I've not put the fireplace in. There's a fireplace that needs to go in here somewhere. I really like that you said that I found out yesterday that that's not normal in regard to like rearranging your space because me and my ADH friends, uh, ADHD friends do this all the time. We'll just randomly get a message and it'll be like, so I've spontaneously decided to rearrange my entire office space or my bedroom or something like that. It's something, yeah. Best thing I got when I got diagnosed with Tom before and the first thing he says was I knew you were disabled. It's true though. It is like way more debilitating than I think most people realise it is. And I'm I'm really curious to see where they feel like I fall on the support needs thing because I think my support needs are a lot higher than most people realise. Yeah, so my work friend who's been on medication and is struggling to get hold of it at the moment, she was saying it's really quite difficult because it's like she's had a taste of freedom or like knowing what having a functioning brain is like and what her life could be like but because of like how things have been she's back to square one she's like it's almost like i've got a taste of it got a little taste of it and yeah now it's been like i feel like i'm being teased um i want decorations um, I want plants. Little plant pots. Yeah, I absolutely love doing stuff with my space. Whether it's... Like, I quite like tidying as long as I'm in the mood to do it. Like, I like making my space nice and, you know, having my area that I exist in being nice. Is that knitted? I think that might be knitted. That's cute though. Um, I want like quite a big outdoorsy plantery type thing. Oh, that'll do. That'll go in there right nice. Um, let me see what we've got in the way of clutter. I want to put some broken stuff in here. Rocks and stuff. That's a bit big. Some crates. Oh, what one's that? The geometric looking one. I think it looks good outside. Um, some contaminated bottles. <clears throat> I just want like bits of crap. Give me all of your bits of crap. Okay, there's that busted car that we can have on the end house. Oh, wait, no, it does fit in the front. How did it get there though? 
How did it get there? Fruit? Maybe we can pull this back. <laughs> How did they fit it in there? I quite like it though, with all the grass and that coming through. I think you were onto something with that. <laughs> I like that. I think my favourite thing about doing builds and this kind of thing is all of like the little attention to detail that you can put in. Those are always the builds that I like looking at the most. So I quite like working that into the builds that I do too. Like one of the things that I was working on um, on stream earlier was this um, like apartment complex that I made in like a city. I'll show you. Um, it's on the gallery. Hang on, I'll just get it loaded up. So it's real like higgledy piggledy and basically yeah it's four individual units but it looks like more from the outside but yeah it's those little attentions to detail like the rubbish on the floor and like the sewer grates and that kind of thing but yeah it needs tweaking a little bit because when I went through and tried to like play Sims in there earlier today, it had some issues. Um, but it's fixable. Do you know what I mean? It's not like huge stuff that I would need to to do. Um, but yeah, I've done like a second version of this. I've basically copied it and then I'm doing like a solar punk thing. So I'm essentially just filling loads of the gaps up with plants and that I spent a lot of time today or oh, like while I've been off work making um, my friends in the sims as well <laughs> why have I got so many of you what is happening but yeah I'm all about the attention to detail and little bits of crap. I just saw something that I wanted to use and I've, it's, I've forgotten what it was. did I just spot? See, I used to say this about myself. I was like, oh, I'm not a builder. I'm not a build. Oh, it was that telephone. That's what I wanted to put down. Um, And I think more than anything, it was the fear of not being able to make something that looked good that was holding me back. 
I love decorating. Decorating I don't have a problem with. Sometimes I find like the wallpapers that you get in The Sims, um, if you don't use custom content, can be quite limiting. But I guess, you know, when you've got other packs and that kind of thing, it helps a little bit. I definitely need to put the bins out the front though, that's for sure. I find using reference images quite useful. So for this one, I've been looking at a property on Zoopla and I've essentially followed the floor plan and then had a little look at like the structure of it. Um, uh, what I'm looking for, bins. Yes, I find the same, like watching other people play really like gets me inspired. Oh yeah, we can definitely have a busted dress. Look at this! <laughs> I love Kyle! So Kyle has turned into um, one of my, my... So my legacy sim? The guy that she's with is him, is Kyle Carlson. <clears throat> I think I am going to move these back over this way. I 
I love him. No, in my game, he's such a good dad. Like, I love him. He's a little bit of a chad, I will give you that, but he's nice. He's a nice guy and he's such a good dad in my game. I love Kyle. This is my favourite one. This has got to be my favourite one. My scabby little trash house. Oh, I've got to furnish that one. I know... Mm, yeah, yeah, I've got to furnish it. I've got to do it. Hi! I've got the basement pack, so we will be furnishing it with the basement pack. Don't you worry. <laughs> All of the crappy, shitty bits. They're getting sorted. They will be going into that build. Um, I live in England. Uh, specifically Norfolk. Oh, cool. Somewhere very different to here then. <clears throat> Yes! I... yeah, I feel much the same, to be honest. So, my stairs are here, or will be here. What staircase shall we put in this one?
Oh, and something else that I would like to see more of um, would be like distressed items. So like having swatches where you can make your items look shitty. I'm immediately going straight to the kitchen. I love making kitchens. Let me just have a little look at my floor plan again because I do want to kind of follow it. Yeah, so that goes all the way around in a U shape. Cool. Yeah. I just... Because sometimes things look... I think I might have to change those windows because I think they look a bit silly. There's that busted little cooker. I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subs and I'm less than a hundred away from it now. So it, I really, really appreciate it. It's been nice to chat to you too. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and go live more regularly because I do have a lot of fun when I'm doing it. And yeah, like I say, I had a great time. So yeah, thank you for your input and hopefully I'll see you in another one. There are so many debug items to scroll through. you bitch stop it behave
I just want bits of kitchen <laughs> clutter, please. There are too many bits of clutter. Let's just take debug out for a minute because that's getting things all kind of confused. Take out debug and live edit. I just want to see my stuff. This is going to be my trash house. They call me the trash man. I want to find those stacks of papers again. Thank you. 
Right, what have I got? There's another hanging herb rack that's not Star Wars. <clears throat> Where is it? Right, I've got to stick one of these outside so I don't lose it. Maybe a little less large because that is quite massive.
Yeah, this is what I want. Bits of things that look horrible. <laughs> oh, my back hurts. Ugh. I'm getting too old for this. Right, let's have another look at those windows. Because I don't really like how they're sitting with the counter. In my head, there's a three panel window that would, I think, work quite well. Whether it actually exists in this realm. It's not this one. Could be though. Could be that one. I think it might be that one. Because that's only... Yeah. it's That's too tall. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one. We'll keep that one in place. Yeah, I think that'll do. cannot stop yawning i might have to call it a night for now i've got this one light that i want to put in if i can find it 
Is it this one? I don't think it was that one. I wanted the one, it's, I think it's like a single light bulb. Or something similar. There we go. In this house, there are no lampshades. I've lived in houses like that. Where you just have a single bulb hanging from the ceiling. Let's have a little look at wallpaper. I, I at least want to finish this room.
China.
up there, Miss Lady. That's not a spot for you, is it? You're knocking my dinosaurs all on the floor. Hi, sweet pea. How's it going? I'm building the grottiest kitchen known to man right now.
Um, what else needs to go in here? I mean, I don't think anything else needs to go in here, but just gonna. So I'm building like a terraced house. Um, and I've started with the most fun one to complete. Tina, what are you doing on there? Sorry, my foster cat is deciding that she's getting brave and wanted to climb all of the surface surfaces. Tina, come here. Because there's things that you'll knock off. Honey pie, there's nothing back there. Ah, oh, see, in my head, it's like an old man that lives there. Like, this is the front garden, and it's gross. Um, I've only got as far as doing the kitchen, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. I used to work in care, and I used to go into kitchens that looked like this like the same sort of cabinets just crap everywhere i'm really pleased with it happy days <clears throat> yeah i think this is gonna be like a little old man that lives by himself with his little dog like little elderly scrunkly dog i think i'm actually gonna hop off stream now um i'm getting neck ache and it's getting on a little bit and i want to chill this evening i might put a doormat down actually i feel like it is missing a doormat even though it's filthy is there like footprints I'm super sure that there was in fact I think it's in it's in one of the pet ones I think yes muddy footprints that are going to be right by the back door despite there being a map. this down here It's so grotty! <laughs> it's so gross! <coughs> oh! 
I do really enjoy that there are definitely some people that like to build in The Sims and they like, I don't know, make pretty things and like gorgeous, um, like I watch a lot of speed builds and I watch people make like luxury apartments and cutesy little homes and stuff. I have never seen anybody build something that looks like this. I love making shitholes. I just wish I had more like weathered stuff. I wish The Sims had more stuff that looks like shit. Where's that tiny little door, Matt? This one. And it's always too big. Don't freeze on me. Not right now. <coughs> yeah, I think I just really like builds that feel like they've got a lot of personality to them, you know? Stop it, I don't want this bit present. I just want to send a photo to my friend without the rest of the screen on it. Okay, I think I'm going to end this stream here, um, just because I'm tired and I want to go to, well, I'm not going to go to bed yet, but I'm going to go and chill out for a bit. So thank you so much to everybody that has stopped by and hung out in the stream. It's been really fun chatting with you. I've had a great time and um, I will probably see you tomorrow. Um, 
as I have a lot more work to do and I'm still not back to work yet. So I'll see you in my next upload or my next live stream as that seems to be a thing that I'm doing quite a bit now. But yeah, thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time.